All right, we welcome the head coach. Dave wants that in a Caps Corner brought to you by Great Clips. Okay, we just played some Bill Belichick. The longest yeah. single answer of his career as a head coach. 1,003 words, seven-plus minutes, waxing eloquently about how good the Bears are. Do coaches do that? Well, I was waiting for on to Chicago, right? right. Isn't we're that, on to Chicago. We're on to Chicago. That's usually the line. But, you know, Bill's talking to his team. You know, he really doesn't care what any of us think in Chicago, to be honest with you, uh, or the Bears players. I mean, he, he, he knows what he's dealing with, but he's got a young football team, and he's sending a message to them because that's what they're going to be talking about. That's what the people in New England will be talking about, and I think that was, at the end of the day, what he was trying to accomplish. Right, that you guys better not sleep on that Absolutely, team. absolutely. Okay, so when you go into a Monday night game, you're struggling like this. If he wins, he passes George Hallis. If the yeah. Packers win and the Bears lose, they're the winningest franchise in NFL history, passing the team they're tied with, the Bears. Does that stuff play no. into it at all? No, particularly with a guy like Bill Belichick. That'll have no factor whatsoever. Uh, it's, it's something that we would all talk about from the media perspective, but no, it has no bearing on the game whatsoever. Okay, Bailey Zappi, fourth-round rookie. Yep. Yeah. 300-plus yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions. It's happened 12 times in Bears history. He did it in his second career start. Aaron Rodgers has done it 35 times, four times against the Bears. How do they keep taking these quarterbacks and keep winning with them? Well, I think it's what they do with them. I mean, you know, they are one of the better offensive lines in the NFL. They are committed to running the football and when they're playing somebody, the first thought is, how are we going to stop the run? We have to get up there with safeties and get more bodies up there. We can't lose this game by letting New England run the ball on us. And that's what gives opportunities for the big pass plays. Uh, so, I mean, you got to give you got to give Zappi their quarterback credit and the receivers. But I think it has as much to do with the, pl with the co play calling as anything. So they are what you would call an old-school offense. 100%. He kicked five field goals two days ago. There's no the – analytics might be present in New England, but Bill Belichick is not being influenced by it. So he, do you think he looks at the analytics, yeah, whatever, here's what I'm doing, or he actually coaches off of it? No, I don't, I don't think he coaches off of it, but I think there's a place for it, and I think knowing Bill that he has somebody there that's studying it, and if there's an indecision in an area in the field or a down in distance, I could see him. I would do the same thing. Hey, what the, what's the analytics say about this? 90% coach, you, you, know, you should go for it. And if, you're, if it's a toss-up, maybe you go for it. But I, half the time, I guarantee you, he's, he's, not, he's not even asking about analytics. He knows what he wants to do and what he has to do to win football games. Did you have to prepare your team differently because you were playing against him? Uh, well, the first thing you knew is what do we do best that they're going to take that away on all three phases. You know, every time we played them at Miami uh, with, J with uh, Jason Taylor, we knew that somebody was going to be double teaming Jason, whether it was the back, whether it was the tight end, whether they were going to slide the protection. You knew that. And we had Ricky Williams at tailback. They were going to put as many guys up there and force Jay Fiedler to try to beat them throwing the ball, our quarterback, as they could. So, you know, they're going to look at the Bears and they're going to say, what does Chicago do best? What do we do best? We run the ball. Yep. He's going to have a committed plan. He's going to make Justin Fields and the, our receivers beat him. That's going to be the plan, I can tell you right now. Okay, so if you're Matt Eberflus, you know – Boy, Montgomery, Herbert, it's going to be tough sledding. Yep. How do you attack them? Play action pass. Play action pass, 100%. And uh, make the play action passes exactly like the runs are so that it all looks the same to that defense. That's how you'll, that's how you'll beat them, and that's how you'll make big plays. In terms of Justin being able to use his legs, we've seen him be mm. wildly successful doing that. Will he be able to do that against New England? Uh, yeah, I think he will. I th but I think that... That has to happen naturally. I, I mean, what, for Justin to be most effective, he's going to get his runs. But I would just encourage him to, when you do get pressure in the pocket, move, get away, but look to throw first before you look to run. The run will be there. He's a good enough athlete, big, strong. He's going to make his yards run. 
But I would say move right away. As soon as I get pressure, don't be thinking, I got to run. Think, get away from the pressure, and maybe you can come up with a big play. Last thing for you, how would you handle this offensive line that's struggling? Would you make changes? Would you bring Leatherwood in? Would you bench Mustafer? What would you do? No, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, it's it, inexperience, a little bit lack of talent right now. And you know what you got to do, Cap, in all honesty? You got to practice, and you got to practice, and you got to get better from Monday until Saturday. That's how an offensive line proves. During, they, don't get, they don't improve on Sunday. Or Monday. They improve during the week. That's when these guys really got to get out there. And if it's doing extra work or whatever, but offensive line is all about development and fundamentals. All right, I got a great dinner plan for Monday. Oh, surprise me. How about that?